up YouTube. This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck that just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for you. And in this episode, I'm going to be testing the gas mileage of the Cam C10. I'm assuming it's going to be rather trash. Well, I mean, it's probably not going to be that bad. It's still, at the end of the day, only 355 cubic inches. I say only, but that's kind of a lot. I mean, for, for engines, period, that's that's a lot. But for small block Chevys, that's very basic. But eh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm thinking with the route that I'm going, I'm actually going uh, to Summit. And with the route that I'm going from Atlanta to Summit, it's sort of a uh, stop and go here and there. Uh, you know, highway driving here and there. Not highway driving, but just cruising at about 50 miles an hour for, you know, for extended periods of time. So it's like a good mix is basically all I'm saying. It's a good mix of the two, of the street driving and the highway driving. So I guess I'll just show you some of that on the way down. I need to stop and get gas so I have a reference point of, uh, of, of how far I'm going so that when I come back, I can get gas to that same station and then see the gas mileage of the truck. I'm doing a very terrible job of explaining this, but I guarantee you, as the video goes on, it'll make a whole lot more sense. So let's get to the gas station. All right, so we're at the gas station now. Um, let me go ahead and look up and see how far exactly this gas station is from Summit Racing. Okay, it's 22 miles. It's gonna be a 44 uh, mile round trip. That's, pr that's plenty of time to judge uh, how the gas mileage is because then we'll, by the time we get back, we would have burned up a good amount. And then we'll, uh, we'll fill it back up and see how much we burned exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and uh, we'll be on our way. Oh, and also the only reason I'm really going down to Summit is because um, it's because I actually need that 45 inch belt. So I wanted to go ahead and get that and I'll probably just put that on tomorrow. I mean, I don't even know if I'll film it. It's not really something that needs needs to be filmed necessarily. I mean, it's just putting the belt on, but yeah, I might. We'll see what I can do. All right, I did it just until the pump stopped. So we'll do the exact same thing when we come back. peel though oh my god it goes all the way back there <laughs> fun fact guys this is the road that made me blow my motor yep I sent it I was doing it for Dale I was doing a full pull all that and then the ride started knocking really bad right here and I didn't even know it was a ride knock until days later but I drove it all the way to summit drove it all the way back and all that Back in my younger days. <laughs>
this truck. Well, ladies and gents, we made it. You know, you gotta look back when you walk away from it. No, I left my headlights on. It's a good thing I look back. Oh man, and they got some beautiful, beautiful square bodies here today that we have to go take a look at. Easy 502. He started it up. Okay, so, fun day. Oh, and the truck's leaving. Man. That thing sounds so good, that, that 502. Y'all comment below and tell me what is the ZZ502, because I know it's not like, like a generation one. Isn't it like a couple generations newer? Like, isn't it like a Gen 3 or something? It's a Gen 3 big block, technically, or something like that. I don't even know, to be honest with y'all. So comment below if y'all know some information about the ZZ502. I love, like, the sound of that thing. That, that's that's really cool. And I think he had a little cam in it, too. Imagine 500 cubic inches with a cam. But, guys, I got my belt right here. I had, actually, some genius this time because I looked up the one that I had on there, and I remembered the uh, one that I had that I bought from AutoZone that was bad. It didn't, well not bad, but it didn't work for this right here. It was actually way too short. So I referenced the fact that I have a 45 and a half on it right now, and the 44 didn't even work, wasn't even close. So I just dialed it back a notch from 45 and a half so that it can actually grip the alternator a little bit better. I don't have to stretch the, uh, the adjustment out all the way just to get it to contact it. So now we're gonna head back to the house and uh, We'll go to that gas station, get gas, and see how bad, how bad on gas is the truck really. I think, I think it's like gonna be averaging like 12 or 13. But we were cruising pretty good the whole way here. It might be 14 or 15, y'all. Honestly, it might be like 14 or 15 miles to the gallon. I mean, considering what we've done, it was a little bit of stop and go as you guys saw, but I think 14 or 15. I got confidence in my Chevy truck. Huh. All right. I'm gonna spare you guys the uh, the driving scene and all that. We're just gonna skip over to the gas station because I figure y'all don't need to see all that. But it was good little visuals, you know, for the kids. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, I lied. <laughs> Can't wait until I can do some high RPMs, man. Back at the station. Time to fill it back up and see how much gas we really used. And we even got the same pump. How about that? How that how's, how's that for accuracy? Dang. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this much, honestly. Alright, so we got the number. Uh, let me head back to the house and then we're gonna do the math. Alright guys, please don't mind the noise of uh, my dog eating in the background. But we got the numbers, we traveled 44 miles, and we used 3.8 gallons. Let's see how bad it is. I'm gonna hit the equal sign. Woo! Averaged 11 and a half miles to the gallon. <laughs> That is terrible. That was way worse than before. <laughs> but I guess it is taking in a whole it's taking in more air and more fuel 
in many ways like the cylinder head the intake manifold all that stuff is promoting uh taking in more so it's only five more cubic inches but it's still a whole lot more of everywhere else so that's why it drops so drastically but I'm surprised honestly I didn't think it was gonna burn that much I, I expected it to be about a good you know 13 or 14 or at least that's how it used to be uh, before I uh, you know went that extra mile once that went that extra something with this motor and this setup but yeah I guess that's it y'all 11 and a half miles to the gallon in a cammed C10 truck with a Gen 1 small block for those of you who are wondering and the the trip that I went was literally it was just coasting for most for the most part some stop and go here some stop and go there just through the you know small cities that I went through in order to get down there to some racing from Atlanta so yeah I guess that's all I got for y'all in this video um, I'm probably just, just gonna be working on the C10 tomorrow you know I got that belt gotta put that belt on I think I hear a slight exhaust leak on the other side that I didn't tighten so uh, I'm probably gonna tighten those and uh, put the belt on and that might be the video for tomorrow or well that might be a future video I won't say it's the video for tomorrow but it might be a future video because I do have footage from a car meet that I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should post or not it's got burnouts and donuts and stuff like that so I don't know I might post it I might post it uh, but that'll probably just be uh, like I said a future video I don't want to promise anything I don't want to say that it's gonna be coming out tomorrow and it's not so just stay tuned y'all I got y'all trust me I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put out four videos this week as I've been doing or I, as I've been trying to do just put a video out every single day I do not work so just like that y'all I think this one's pretty much over and I really appreciate you guys watching uh, we're we're getting there we're, we're almost done with the break-in of the small block Chevy. I really want to drive it some more this week and try to uh, try to put more miles on it. I really want to get to 750. And I know once I actually reach 750, it's still going to be some time because, you know, money is a thing. It's still going to be some time before I can actually just, you know, get the oil change and do this and do that and all that. And actually change the oil to get it ready for seeing what it can do. Having just a little tiny bit of fun. And I haven't burnt any rubber yet just because of the fact that um, I don't have my limited slip diff in yet. But I plan on picking the gears up next week. I just don't, I don't have the, the diff in and I just feel like what's the point of wasting like all the wear and tear on the truck with just one wheel peel. It's like what's the, like what's it all for? Like yeah, you, you're wearing on the TH400, you're wearing on everything, but it's just for one wheel peels. <laughs> so I'm putting the limited slip in real soon. As soon as the money allows, and then we're gonna dag on get into some donuts. So, of course, I gotta break the gears in too. I didn't think about that. Uh oh. You good, pup? You good? Alright, he's good. Uh, I didn't think about that part. I gotta break it in, break that in too, but I don't think it's gonna take as long as the motor though. But yeah, I'm just trying to do things right. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do things the right way. So just like that, y'all, I think this one's pretty much over, and I really appreciate you guys watching. He's getting upset at me. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. And have a good one. Let me make sure he's all right. You, do, you good, dog? Hey. You good? Hey. Hey. You good? He's good. All right, y'all. See you in the next one.